In this second Calc tutorial I'm going to show you how to create um, graphs and charts. As you can see I've already entered some data but before we get on to that I'm going to just go through a few final tweaks that you can do with um, formatting. If you look at the boundary line between a two columns or between two rows you see if you place your cursor over that you see that the um, cursor changes from um, the pointer to what looks like two um, left and right facing arrows or two up and down facing arrows. If you click with the right with the left mouse button and hold you can change the width of a column or you can change the height of a row. This enables you to um, create a layout that suits you best. Also if you um, click on a uh, set of cells that you want to align if you if we click on this one here, these weak weak um, numbers here, I want to put in the centre of each cell. Uh, if I click on Tools and then click on, oh, sorry, Format, and click on Cells and on Alignment, you can see the options here are default uh, horizontal and default vertical. But I want to set my text so it's in the centre of the horizontal alignment is in the centre, and the vertical alignment is the middle. And click OK. Now, obviously, this text now looks centred but the power of that formatting becomes obvious if I now want to actually edit the height or format the height of that particular row that that text is in. So let's make this row height really wide and you can see now if we um, click on this you can see that the weak one stays exactly in the center of the cell um, and so that's a really powerful um, formatting tool if you want to use that. So let's crack on with the uh, creating a chart now. So you've seen how to edit column widths and, co and row heights and how to do some alignment. Last thing I want to do here is I want to tidy up these numbers. I want to make them full decimals. So again we'll click on format, cells, uh, click back on here on number and I want to be decimal like that. Click OK. And there we go. Now I've got all my number, all my decimal points lined up appropriately. Now, what I want to do is make a chart, and the first thing we need to do is I'm going to reduce this back down to 100% for you, so I've got some room for my chart to go in. The first thing we do is we highlight the area of um, information that we wish to be used or considered by Calc as a chart. So once we've highlighted our area, we then click on the chart button, which is this button just here. So we'll click on that, and first thing it does is it creates and embeds its own chart as you can see here but you can edit that so it may be that you want to represent this particular data in a different way what you can see if I put this on the bottom here you'll see the chart change as well if you if you click here this highlighted box here shows you how it's organized the data for us um, if you want to look at a different one different variant It'll change, and there you go. It's manufactured. It's it's altered the data for us, so we can see what's going on as a cumulative graph. Or you can decide to make it a bar graph. It depends how you want your data to be data to be represented. I want mine to be represented like this because it's discrete data. But there's a whole range of options you can look at here. You can look at pie options. You can look at line options. These probably aren't appropriate, and you'll know how you want to make your data uh, handle itself. So you can look through here. Um, I'm going to choose or stick with column. So there's my column data and I want it to stick me be 3D so I'm going to click on the 3D option. It's gone to 3D and even within that variant I can either go for cylinders if I wanted to, um, cone and pyramid and again each of these will have their benefits and their um, negatives for using them. I'm going to stick with box. Excellent. So once you've chosen the appropriate chart type for yourself, you can just simply click through all of these options. Click on next. Um, we've chosen our data range, uh, so we don't have to worry about that. We're going to click next. Now, we're going to look through here. This all looks good. Customize your data range. No, no, that's all good. We're going to stick with that. Click next. Now, this is the next the last item here is you need to give your chart a title so let's call this okay um, the 
x-axis is going to be weeks and the x-axis is going to be um, value um, in dollars I don't make very much money on this particular Oops. there we go and click finish there we go and you can see now that our oops, let's get rid of this our chart is now in our spreadsheet and there it is ready for you to look at ready for you to print off uh, keep doing this let's move the whole thing so it looks good and the last thing we want to do is we want to look on file and then we want to look at let's click off of here. File page preview, and that is what our data and the uh, uh, resulting graph would look like if we were to print it off. Close the preview, and that very simply is how to create a graph in Calc.